Hey people, Pastor Daniel Epley here on day three of the season of Lent here in 2023, continuing to be faithful, uploading some videos about the Word of God. And today I just want to talk about creation. I thought it was interesting day one. I talked about Ash Wednesday. Day two, from one of my devotions in the morning, uh, talking about God created time and stepped into time, I uh, thought it was kind of interesting that the Lord just kind of provided a way for creation uh, to kind of be the beginning. And, uh, and I already thought about, okay, um, I'm in creation. One of the things that are kind of foundational for creation uh, is who God is. Because in, first, in Genesis chapter 1, I think it's verse 26, God uh, creates humanity. He makes us in the image of God. And it says, let us, this is what the word of God says, let us, that's a first person plural, create humanity in our image. Again, a first person plural in the image of God. Uh, the word of God says he created us. So is is God one person or is God three? So now we come to the, uh, the, the, the identity of God. Who is God? And wouldn't you know it, as part of my prayers today on the Version Bible app, throw that plug in there, it's pretty awesome. Uh, part of the prayers said, stop and just think about who God is. And I thought, sure enough, I already had that on my mind. And, and here's affirmation for me to stop uh, what I'm doing and what's on my mind in this moment. And just go ahead and, and, and do this devotion, do this time of about the Word of God today. So who is God? This is very important. And this is kind of the point of this message. Who is God? God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, the three in one. Something very important that we need to take away from this, especially as it relates to who we are, because God created us in God's image, right? God does not exist outside of a relationship amongst the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God exists amongst relationship, and we are created just like that. We are created to be in relationships as well, in relationships with one another. That should really shape and form uh, our words, our thoughts, our deeds, our actions in life. That should make us realize that we yearn for relationship with God and with others. We were created to be in relationship. In fact, outside of relationship, think about this. We don't really exist at all, at least not according to who God created us to be, not according to who, who God wants us to be. God created us to be in relationship with one another. Therefore, we should seek to love one another, be kind to one another, give to one another, receive from one another. God created us in the image of God. I can't tell you exactly who God is. God is infinite and I'm finite and I'm not going to be able to understand all of God and neither are any of us, any of you. But we at least know this. God only exists amongst the Trinity, amongst the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he created us in that image. So we too exist. I have a friend from seminary named Jeff Howard. Shout out Jeff Howard. I'll tag you in this post as well. He says, relationships matter. He went on a two-year rant about that at the seminary. Relationships matter. And Jeff, you're absolutely right. Relationships do matter because God among, exists amongst relationships. He created us in that same image. So we too should seek to be one with one another, just as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. This, after all, is the prayer of our Lord Jesus found in John chapter 17 as he prays for believers who would believe in him because of the word of the disciples. And he says that he prays that we might be one, just as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Let us reach out to our loved ones. Let us build relationships, spend time together, and love on one another. And in these ways, we are who God created us to be, loving persons in relationship with one another. God is with you.